Here is my 3.5 kilowatt lithium ion phosphate made by Ford Focus as it's configured for 48 volt. And guys, I want to show you something I have to beef up this battery bank. And let's go and check it out. And it's going to be another addition to this family. And after that, I'm going to show you the total lithium batteries I already have for my system live at the JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and share. This afternoon, I received um, a package coming from my guys at a um, private location that sent me the batteries. And I've been waiting. You guys have seen some of the videos already happen. And it's boxed on a Home Depot um, uh, box. So let's check it out and see what we have in there. And uh, stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and open up the box here. There's the packaging. It's a big mighty box. All right, let's check it out. Going through here. Here's the packaging and all stored. Just be careful. But look what happened here. The batteries are all over. Uh, it seems like um, UPS tend to drop these batteries and there's an impact here on the batteries. So these are the uh, BMS and uh, bus bars interconnect. And uh, looks like this battery was dropped really hard. You can see on the side right there. Look like the male guy almost get tired with bringing the battery and here is um, the end part of the battery look at that they're all scattered everywhere so I hope these batteries are in good condition without being hurt by the uh, delivery guy so I have three of them each of them supposed to be uh, over 16 volt so let's check it out and see where they all right here are my testers here I'm gonna be testing uh, the lithium batteries made by Ford Focus if you happen not to see one yet in real life this is how they look like and uh, if you haven't owned one yet, I wish you good luck. So I'm um, hoping the best you can able to have one of these on your system. Or if you decide to build a system, well, this is the best way to go. So far, so good. And uh, recommend these batteries big time. And what you're seeing here right now, guys, is a 3.5 kilowatt of power. So let's go ahead and test the voltage as I speak live from JW Solo USA if you haven't subscribed or you just uh, your first time to the channel I want to welcome you and stay tuned and be an active viewer and subscriber or stay active on my channel to see more to come in the future so this pack right here is the smallest one that adds up to give you the 48 volt <clears throat> supposed to be um, let's check the voltage here and um, you will see okay you will see um, a battery a little battery approximately let's do it this way Uh, 7.6 volt 7.6 volt battery it's gonna be the smallest one amongst them okay I hope you can see that and the other one should be supposed to read approximately about um, 15 around 15 and uh, you will see there 15.3 let's try the other one all 
right so hold on let me show you another should be another 15 Should be a 15 here. Uh, fifteen point two. Hope you can see that. Fifteen point two. Oh, the probe. Okay, there you go. I'm not holding the probe well onto the battery. Yeah, 15.2. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it shows on the screen. And let's try the other one. Okay. All right. Stay tuned. I get it uh, this bolt is loosen and see All right let's check this one. Fifteen point two. So the first one, let's see, so what to do. I hope I can get it right. The first one is the only one that is fifteen point three, but all of them are fifteen point two. 15.3 this other one here and the last one was really not 15.2 subscribe and share bye for now all right guys i already have my 48 volt system set up here with um with a ford focus so this is a seven kilowatts here right now system so <clears throat> this is the new battery it's already in this is the one that I had first and this one is properly charged and this one here is charging right now so that I can get them all filled up and after that I'm gonna parallel them here's a negative terminal so I'm gonna cross a negative wire here it's gonna be a two hot cable you see that two hot cable so it's gonna tie on this end of the other battery negative here and it's gonna tie the other negative here so we parallel the neutral or the ground whatever you call them and we're gonna come here the positive on this one and the positive here so we do the interconnect which is gonna be even a four hot cable as well that's gonna tie these batteries all together I'm just gonna have one positive 180 battery in and we can run the system. The system is charging right now. Let's check it out. You can see the light. I just turned the, the switch on. It's charging them. So currently the batteries are seen at 55.6. Uh, it's gonna be charging all the way to 58. And we are pulling 1400 watt charging the batteries from the grid. I'll be charging the batteries all the way to 58.8 as a set point for absorb 58.8 float. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. I'll be doing the interconnect while the batteries are already connected in series parallel. And right here in Minnesota, JW Solar USA. Uh, our back is now having a 7 kilowatt of lithium ion battery made by Ford Focus. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Stay tuned for more to come. 
live from this channel, JW Solar USA. These are the batteries and uh, stay tuned for the next video you can see all my batteries all together the e-golf and the Ford Fokkers thank you all right the batteries are finally here on the right hand corner here these are the e-golf made by Volkswagen and this one's here is a Ford Focus. That's a seven point is a seven kilowatt. Each one of these, because they are series parallel, so one, two, three, four, the little guy. Um that makes it a 48 volt. So as the other one over there, and they are parallel. Okay, and that gives it a 48 volt, uh 3.5 kilowatt on each row. And 3.5 kilowatt that gives a 7 kilowatt for the 48 volt for the outback. Here is the e golf by Volkswagen. This is uh 6 kilowatt here. They are all you see that they're all series and parallel, both of them, and they have the <clears throat> temperature sensor on one side and the other one as well for the for the magnum and the uh, outback so they have all sensors sensors are here for the outback the inverter charger and the charge controller as well so you can see the guy is up here this is my setup i think i'm finally done with this at this point i've been working all day trying to put these batteries together lightning protector here's the remote this is the mate for the outback here's the remote MEARC -E 50 for this guy right here and control this one as well the magnum so guys you know 7 kilowatt plus 6 kilowatts just make it together these are my battery bank in my battery box no more lithium uh, no more um, AGMs we're running on lithiums now all right then I have the 12 volt system on the other side at the house I was testing so um, I already charged them when they came and uh, <clears throat> I decided to get them all the same charge and uh, and parallel them together so at least um, you guys can able to see what I'm doing here. And I have all these temperature sensors, wires running around. And here is a sensor for the box, which is right here. So you read the temperature for the inside the box. Well, these are the, <clears throat> the ports you can able to use um, a BMS connectors. So I have those connectors as well. I haven't incorporated any BMS yet. You can see the other sides here. You can see them all over. <clears throat> so guys, this is my setup. I hope you like it. And I'm transitioning slowly and swiftly to the lithiums. And um, done with the AGMs. You know, we're doing a lot of work with the AGMs. So good batteries but uh, it's about time to move on and i've already moved on this is my setup right here the lithium used to take all over this box see the wire comes all the way to this one here for this battery bank for the uh, magnum and the other side goes to all the way up the disconnect is on the other side over there and the disconnect is here on this other side for the Magnum is the disconnect right on the corner right there for the um, outback so this is the setup I have more room I can able to put more batteries here more of the e-golf so these are the wires that come from the e-golf to the boss bar it has your own boss bar here okay and the other boss bar is over there thanks for watching have a nice day. Bye-bye.